So there's this concept called the power of and, and that is going to be the focus of today's video. Hi everybody, I'm Jenea and welcome here to my channel. And in this space, I like to talk about a variety of different topics ranging from spiritually based concept all the way over to mental health. And in talking about the power of and, I wanna take us back to about 2008. Because that's when I was introduced to it. I was a new therapist starting to work with a high risk population of people and learning something called dialectical behavioral therapy. And in dialectical behavioral therapy, there's a big focus on bringing what are seemingly two opposing things together and allowing both to exist at the same time, that we don't have to be on extreme ends anymore. And so in, within what's called DBT for short, we talk about this power of and. And in a therapeutic context, it was great. It helped out a lot because somebody could learn that, oh, I can ex be experiencing joy and I'm also really angry about this other thing over here at the same time. Or I really love somebody and man, if I'm not also frustrated beyond belief at them at the same time. And both could these uh, supposedly opposing things, opposing emotions and thoughts could be in existence at once. And then fast forward to around the end of 2021, about a year ago, you know, it's now November of 2022. So approximately about a year ago, this concept of the power of and started to rise back up in my life. And it came up through some mentorship that I was in at that time. And I started to really explore it more and meditate and everything on it more and see what wanted to come up about this concept of and. Why exactly was this even important? And why do I need to know about it now? You know, I know how it works in therapy. It's good there, great. And I found out that it's so much more than just an aspect of some therapy that I'm doing. That it's actually something that is very profound and important in our lives right now. You know, there's no, you know, sugarcoating it. We have been in a whole lot of different extreme views, a lot of polarity, a lot of um, you're right and I'm, you know, or you're right, I'm wrong, or I'm right, you're wrong. And, and there's just no other way to see it. You either are with me or you're against me. And then that's where the and comes in. Because it doesn't have to be that way. It doesn't have to be one or the other. It doesn't have to be you're right, I'm wrong. It doesn't have to be this group of people over here. They don't know what they're talking about. So they're wrong. Because I see differently. And I'm right. We can actually start to join these things together. You may have heard some people talk before about how the word but in a sentence will negate everything before it. And so to, in, to help to uh, change that, you can insert the word and. You know, so instead of saying, I love you, but, or, you know, I really want to hang out and everything, but, <laughs> you know, and you know when you hear the but, you just know when you hear the but that you're going to be getting something completely separate from what was said before that but. And you're like saying, why did you even bother to say the stuff before the but? You may as well just told me what you really wanted to say to begin with, right? Well, now there can be the and, where you insert and you say, I love you. And I'm also really frustrated in this situation right now. I want to hang out and everything. And now it's just not a good time for me. Maybe we can arrange something for later. You know, so this and softens that up. And in my meditations around and and journeying about this, this concept and why it was presenting itself to me now, one of the things that came out of that was when we're using and, it softens the extremes. It doesn't make it so harsh anymore. It, it kind of gives this overall sense of peace that can kind of just like wash over you just very gently. It's a very calming kind of, kind of a feeling once you just step into it. When you step into the and, it's like stepping onto a bridge, you know, where everything is joined by that bridge. 
all of these different opposing viewpoints, different cultures, different perspectives, different beliefs are now all joined together in this middle point with the and. And when that happens, it's like that and enables us to step outside of fear, where we no longer have to be in a space of fear with other people, fear about other viewpoints, fear about other perspectives. That now, when we're able to see everything more clearly and understand that all of it can be included, that everything gets to exist at the same time without having to force anything else to be right or wrong, all of it gets to be there, then there's nothing left to be afraid of because everything is as it needs to be. And that when you step into that and, it allows you to be in that space where everything is the way that it needs to be right now in this moment. So I just wanted to get this discussion about the power of and started because that's exactly what it is right now. This is a starting point in my discussing and. There are many things that came up for me over this past year in meditation on this topic. And I know that there's going to be much more that comes up. And this space is a wonderful place to be able to share those you know, whether you call them downloads, whether you call them inspirations, you know, whatever they happen to be, I want to be able to share those here. And so I'll be doing that and as, as I feel led to. In the meantime, though, if you would like to practice out this power of and, every time you find yourself wanting to say a big old but, you can insert an and there instead or allow yourself to be in that space for even just a few moments of what would it be like if your viewpoint is okay to have and so is this other opposing viewpoint at the same time. What does that then feel like in your body? What does that like feel like within your whole being when you allow these two different things to be in existence at the same time without having to make anything else right or wrong, but letting all of it be? So I'd love to hear what your experiences are as you practice this. You know, share that with me in the comments below. I'd love to be able to, to see that and respond to those and talk with you even more about this and consciousness that we're really leading into because it is going to be, or it is, what I believe is going to, is the most powerful thing for us to be stepping into at this time. And it's a choice. It's a choice that we get to make in each moment to step onto that bridge and be that space that allows everything to exist at once and softens all the extremes that we've all been living with for quite some time now. All right, so I look forward to seeing your comments below and chatting with you more there. In the meantime, I hope you're taking good care of yourselves and I will be seeing you again in the next video. Bye-bye.